Hi guys, um, today I'm just going to talk about a topic that has been racking around in my brain for a while and it's about how to be yourself on booktube. Now every booktuber has their own flair that they bring to the table for Catitastic, it's her coffee obsession mixed with a little bit of Will Herondale. With Jesse the Reader, it's his natural wit and sound effects that he puts in every of his videos. But a community where most original thought and original video ideas are limited because everyone's already done them, why does everyone compare everyone to someone else? And why do people do something that someone else does really well that comes naturally to them to come up as awkward? Being yourself on camera is quite challenging because there are certain, sometimes there are certain aspects to personality that you would rather not people see on videos. I am rather sarcastic and rather got a really not so conventional sense of humour. But I let my natural sarcasm, not too much sarcasm, throw through the camera. I try to present my personality but not too much of it because there are some aspects that I don't want to show on camera. And that is one of the things that I think people are lacking. What makes people engage with you is when your personality is projected from outside onto the camera and through to the other end. When I watch Angus from AW Studios Books' videos, his personality extends from his videos out into the screen world and you can just see it. His natural um, ability to make comments or just be funny is really interesting. And then he also sings and names book hauls after other things and it's really good. And somehow, some way, people compare him to Christine May. And that sort of isn't right in my book. Every, or well, most of the YouTube booktubers sometimes sing outros, look at Tasha from Tashapolis, and name book hauls, maybe the BEA Bookalickish book haul, or the Guilt Trip book haul. Thanks, Charmy, for that one. But it's all done in the same way. I name sometimes my book hauls the monster book haul or something like that and it's all done to get people to watch your videos and to have a creative video title. Now Christine May, Paul and Banana's books, I think that she is naturally enthusiastic and that is really hard to replicate but if you let your natural enthusiasm shine through it will come off much more natural than trying to mimic something that someone else does. One of my favourite booktubers ever is Little Booker and she's very natural and her personality does come across in the camera and that's what I really like about her that you get to see her natural enthusiasm come out in her way. I'm naturally enthusiastic as well. You watch any video of mine that mentions the Immortal After Dark series and you will see the enthusiastic side of Sleepy Wide Studios. And that's what it is. Being yourself in camera is much better than trying to mimic something that someone else does really well. This idea that these that you can't do it and an original thought is gone, that is there. But if you work your personality to fit an original idea and an original flair that you have to bring to the table, more people will flock to you. It may take a lot of time, it may take years, but there will be people who are just like you who will want to see more of you and what you bring to the table. Me, I bring a lot of comparisons to adult books from young adult books and I bring a lot of my knowledge from other media into books that I read and evaluate. And while I don't have a lot of subscribers, I pride myself on the fact that I do put my personality out there. It's not a well-known personality, in fact it's quite a weird one. But it's my personality, and I think that that sometimes does project through the camera. Whether or not my viewers see that is up to them. But I really do think that you need to take the time to stop trying to be like everyone else, trying to capture something that someone has already done really well, 
and do your own thing. People respond much better to that than trying to mimic something that's already been done because many other people are trying to do it. Now, I'm not saying don't sing, don't do makeup, don't, you know, name your book, because you can still do all that, but add your own flair to it. And that's what Angus and a lot of other booktubers have done. They've taken this idea and just add their own flair to it. And that is fine. That is all right. And that's what I love, that so many people in this community are so different, and yet they project their own ideas and their own identities, and it comes through. And that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!